They were, there was no work under the Kaiser first. So they come over here to get jobs. So, um, but uh, so the Germans always do is the you know the mix and the Huns were always at it with one another. I mean, they, okay, there's so much that they'd actually have their own labor, their own labor unions because they didn't want to be associated with one another. Mm -hmm. So actually, because my grandmother was Irish and my father was German, I mean, I got to go to both sets of black parties. So there's a different set of food in each place, folks. So um, Nikki, by uh, uh, what it was, did, did this holidays exhibit the. Uh, to the public, the strength and esprit de corps of the trade and labor organizations of the community. Labor Day is also a festival of the recreation and amusement of the workers and their families, parades, festivals, barbecues, in a pattern for Labor Day. Speeches by prominent men and women are given the emphasis, the holiday and civic significance to it. But the problem is, is that they have totally forgotten that this is the United, United States, which is a melting pot, and basically by forbidding Republicans to attend Labor Day events, which are paid by the I still community. can't believe that. Yeah. That the, they are, the Republicans are hostile to unions. Well, I see, part of it is, is they say that to one group of people yeah. and it's a public event, mm -hmm. then they shouldn't use public funds. There's what they're going to start doing, billing for it next week. Mm -hmm. But here's the trick is, what's the difference between banning a Republican and banning a black man? Nothing. Nothing. Some will say it's racial, right? Okay. But yeah. I mean, but because, okay. but the other one is. Yeah, but it's, it's just just pure politics. It's, it's politics. Pure, it's all politics. Because only about eleven percent of the people in this nation today are members of labor unions, and they're almost all members of government labor unions. Because, as they say, I mean, okay, I can tell you, I was a member of one union of which the union used all the they, they didn't use the money to buy political power. They built a fourteen million dollar headquarters. Um. Every penny in the coffers was spent to buy a new building, beautiful building. They, when the labor union went belly up, they sold the building. Mm -hmm. The union collapsed. All of my little funds that were with them went, okay, there's supposedly a law that says you cannot. You're not supposed to use those funds. To make any difference. They do it anyway. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. And in the 1880s, Labor organizations began to lobby as various state organizations and legislatures for recognition of Labor Day's official state holiday. Uh, what's funny is Oregon was the first to do it, then followed by Colorado, New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey. I would have thought that New York would have been the first one. Because well, especially because they started in New York. It's where it started in New York. I mean, that's where my, that's where they all came ashore. I mean, they they came off the boat. They come to Ellis Island. They went over to, you know, over. And I'm going to count that I minute. Mean, I gotta stop the accent a bit because I can do this forever. But they they were situated in all those you different know, boroughs. You know, part of it is you don't you don't have the date. They said they started in 1887. Then they said Oregon, Colorado, New York. Uh, my assumption is because they're not alphabetical that those were when they did. When they did in it. that order. I know. I would have yeah. I would have bet New York the bank on New York because New York was foremost. Then always has been. I mean. Monday, you're going to see the people out in their trial. The police will be in their uniforms. The firemen will be in their finest. And the Democrats will all be walking in the parade, and there'll be no Republicans. I still think that's BS. I know. And, that's just total BS. And, 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 and Bloomberg will pay for that parade, which is funny. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so it finally became a national holiday, or excuse me, an official national holiday in 1894. Yeah, and uh, and I, which actually that's not very long. Usually no, it takes longer like for something said, to become My, my grandfather holiday. was here. My, my my father, you know, my father was, was born in nineteen ten. Mm -hmm. God, he'd been hundred one years old. But uh, my grandfather had been here for like thirty years. So my grandfather, my father, my okay, we put it this way: my grandmother was from mm -hmm. Ireland, and my grandmother was a member of the IRA, and my grandfather was from Heidelberg, Germany. You know, troublemakers, both of them, which is why they got along so well together. But he helped, he helped, my grandmother helped in the union movement, my grandfather helped in the union movement. So when they, when they say you talk about unions, how dare you? Well, because my, my parents, my grandparents helped to found unions, folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, they spread the union word, sometimes with shillelaghs and sometimes with clubs. And mm -hmm. then my, my, my other side of the family is from Cicero, Illinois. And they, they know a few things about clubs and unions in Illinois. Mm -hmm. But uh, it became to be recognized in the United States not only as a celebration of the working class, but 
also as you got to fish under the summer season. In the northern half of the U.S., summer vacation season begins with Memorial Day and ends with Labor Day. <coughs> That's not necessarily true anymore because the school years are, are, are longer now because they're trying to keep the little thugs off the streets. Oh, it sounds like you don't even like what we call them little thugs. But you don't have any children. <laughs> so. Well, and, you know, the, part of it is depending on the school system, there's some of them where I, I swear, you know, it's like they, they, they're thinking about the working parents. So instead of a long block of summer, some of them go almost all year long. Yeah, because they divide it up in four quarters now. You know, mm -hmm. your first first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth And then quarter. take a break at every... And in between in the quarters, quarter. you have like a couple of weeks vacation and that's it. But that's where we're... The whole school system is heading that way because we have the worst... You know, like, okay. I, 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 okay, here's one. Um, I, I, can, I can't do this because it's impossible, but my, my grandmother would say, you know how a union line constitutes, how a union line counts to one? And I'd say no, and she put both hands up, and then she would put one foot up one on the thing, and then she put the other foot up, and she said, what was I counting to? <laughs> <laughs> so, she had a sense of humor. My grandmother was there. Cute little, small little Irish redhead. It was hot and sexy until the day she died, folks. So, you know, you know, two husbands she had in her life. So. Oh, she did. Yeah, one of them went off to Germany to fight in World War II, and the other one, you know, designed equipment to kill Germans in World War II. <laughs> so. You know, I wonder if they were ever on the battlefield at the same time. I don't know. I think I understand. This is we faced a little bit. My father actually faced my grandfather in battle once. Oh, he did? Yeah, at the Battle of the Bulge. My grandfather was one of the command officers on the German side. Oh. So they said, but I remember my, uh, my, they asked my father a long time ago, were you ever worried about the fact that uh, you might have had to shoot your father? And they said he wouldn't have bothered with not shooting me. Mm -hmm. So he was a soldier. My father was a professional soldier. My grandfather was a professional soldier. So work first. That, you know, and they were fighting for their country. My grandfather never became an American citizen. My grandfather stubbornly refused to not be a German. Okay. So, you know, he fought in, you know, he fought in World War One for the German side. He fought for World War Two on the German side. And then he came back after World War One, here, for, and then when World War Two, he went back to serve his country. That's okay. how it works. He was a German first, an American. He actually, never was an American. My, my father was an American, <coughs> my grandmother was an American, my, my grandmother was very proud, my grandmother was very proud of being a union agitator. So, <laughs> so it's funny, it's like, I know about unions, I know, I mean, I used to really love going to the, the Labor Day parties, yeah. you know, like I said, because my father, remember the team. my father was a teamster and he was also a police officer, so I could, we'd go to the teamsters parties and we'd go to the, to the other parties, and we go to the German labor, we go to the Hof, we go to the Hof Aspera, mm -hmm. and have a good big German Labor Day thing. So we do nothing but eat on those days. We don't, I don't get to do that anymore. You know what I get to eat today? Nothing. I, mean, I, I, got, a, I got a special drink. Monty's let me have a tea thing, which I just keep after reusing it. But yeah, but that's a very special tea. I know. But it's loose tea, Earl Grey, very special. Yeah. I think that one was from Harrods. Yeah. But I, I, I wonder though, our, we, we know we're sort of padding this because we've never, our Labor Day is always our smallest. The, yeah, they, they really don't have that much information about it. But here's one of the things is, besides the end of summer, officially, uh, other things that you can expect, of course, during Labor Day weekend is lots of food, um, lots of sales. Yeah, uh, lots of sporting events. I mean, basically the, the baseball season is ending, the football season is starting, the basketball season is starting, track and field is starting. I think we have the United U.S. Open uh, in, in tennis. So, I mean, it's just anything that you can want. And you've got good deals. The next round of movies start with this next weekend. Yes! <laughs> so, uh, the, Only because there hasn't been anything. Okay. <laughs> no, but it's just it's the start of this, like, uh, like, you know, the end of summer, okay, my, my, my mother's an Indian. They would call it end of summer the start of a new life. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, 
the end of summer is just, you know, it's like a rebirth for all of those things that... Because you go in the fall and the winter, which is you go to hibernation and they get ready to spring again. Yeah, so, yeah. but, you know, I guess until... You know, we would like to do more. I mean, you guys can see how much we padded on this thing. I think it's only this long. Yeah. That's his most it's one, it's one page full. I mean, okay, I, I went... A large I, font. I went to the site that our president recommended we go to, and it does nothing about... The, it, it says... Just, there's like about 60 pages of how um, how the Republicans have destroyed this nation and only the unions are able to save it. Mm -hmm. I don't think you wanted to hear one side or the other because, like I said, I'm a union member. Actually, we're both members in more of a sense. <coughs> we're both members of the trade unions. We're, we're news directors, folks. Oh, yeah. We're sort of weird news directors. But we are news we're directors. A little different. Yeah. yeah. So we are members of trade unions. So. Uh, I, 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 I would not, okay, to put it this way, I would never have been able to be fired three times by the Disney company if it hadn't been for the unions that were there before. <laughs> because they'd have never given me enough money to have had to fire me each time. Mm -hmm. And that's how it works. Unions built everything that our country stands for. Everything. The social values came from unions. The uh, pay that we get came from unions. The health care we get came from unions. But the problem is, is that the people, what, what happens is, um, it's just like, um, uh, we're going to try the, the calling the billionaire Barbie. Paris Hilton has no concept of what it was like to make money. Her grandfather, Conrad Hilton, worked his rear end off. The, the people that, I mean, she works and she's entrepreneurial, but, you know, it's a whole lot easier to make it's many not, more millions after you have many. Yeah, it's the way it works. And, and so imagine the guy that was working for, um, uh, okay, I mean, I used to play lots of cowboys, and they, I do the bit, you know, like, well, we're going to get a dollar a day and found. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're basically on the horses all day long and most of the night for a dollar a day, and they were making more money than anybody else. Or... Peace, you know, in the garment district, okay, we'll give you a penny for each one of these dresses you sew. You know, and you sit there and figure out how many dresses can I sew in a day. Maybe they get, uh, maybe they walk out with 50 cents in a day's work, and they do 50 dresses. Mm -hmm. You know, peace work, that's how it was. The unions put it into it. They, they fix the safety conditions. Um, go, have go believe in the unions until they cost him his job. Mm -hmm. Then, like a lot of union members, when they lose their job, okay, uh, here's a matter of fact, that there was never a strike done in which you ended up ahead. You always lose. Your unions always lose. But it's, uh, <clears throat> so it's not practical. You should always strike when business is good, never when business is bad. So, the, that's a comment from my grandmother. My grandmother says, only a, only a mick or a damn hun would strike during the middle of a re, uh, the depression, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so, but no, until, until next year when we try to do something different. Well, I'm hoping there will be some more information that's oh, not God. so, I mean, you know, somebody uh, write political. something about, okay, the, the, this, this like this, somebody well, write actually, something we're, about We're it. looking for information, actually. Probably next year we'll include the political part. I hate to do that, but I mean, we're going to, we may have to. Because have the to. only thing I have is a 60 page diatribe against Republicans. Well, that is not going to help. No, but it's, Because, you know, it's just like reading the Democratic talking points. That's right. You already, yeah. I mean. The unions are. You unions, can guess what it's going to say. The Republican Party is trying to destroy the unions in this nation. That Sarah Palin is out to, to make your child work in a slaughterhouse for a penny a day, you know, they, they, they name names, I mean, you know, that's not, that's not how things is, so, but until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken, we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow, for more information, you can always go to www.montebubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, to subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. Oh, and also, we've been going through some massive changes. So of course stay tuned of course to the website like we talked about. But look up look up our new service as well as 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 Monty as, as you know the Monty Bubbles network. Mm -hmm. There is actually a network now we we got programs on it, not a whole lot. At the moment the only way you can find them is to come to our website. Yes. But that's going to expand as as 
It's a matter of we've not had enough time to get enough programming done. He did good with folks. People say, hey, you know, you people got more, more working with you than what we thought. We thought there was just a couple of people. And then all of a sudden we're seeing while you're on the air, videos going up. Or while you're talking, while you're busy, I'm looking at my tablet and, you know, I, I just saw a video being put up while you're sitting here talking with me. You must have a lot more people than I thought. Uh-huh. It's called too many and not enough. We do need a lot more. So, you know, so we've been there before. Now we really need a lot more. So, bye-bye. <laughs>